Good evening. BBC Midlands Today can exclusively reveal that Sir Mike Tomlinson has been named as the Education Commissioner for Birmingham. The government's appointed him to oversee the city's schools in the wake of the allegations that Muslim extremists were trying to take over the running of some schools. Sir Mike helped turn around failing schools in Hackney in London and he's widely regarded as a safe pair of hands. His job now is to address criticisms faced by Birmingham City Council for its delayed response to the Trojan horse controversy. The authorities said to have ducked claims there was an agenda to introduce an Islamic ethos into several schools for fear of being branded racist. Here's Giles Latcham. It started with a letter, purportedly a step-by-step -step guide on how to kick out head teachers and introduce an Islamic ethos into secular schools. The letter was sent to Birmingham City Council anonymously, but they sat on it for months. The former counter-terrorism police officer, Peter Clark, found evidence to back the claims and accused the council of being more worried about community cohesion. In the wake of his report, the education secretary said Birmingham would get its own education commissioner, and he's named today as Sir Mike Tomlinson, former inspector of schools. One of Birmingham's MPs says his priority must be the city's children. Well, I certainly hope this, it's, it's a greater scrutiny into uh, academies, but also into all schools in Birmingham to ensure that we keep the standards up and we serve the children who need that education, who need, uh, who need the future generation for Birmingham. Separately, another commissioner is already looking into the city council's children's services, rated inadequate for years. And the former head of the civil service, Bob Kerslake, is due to report in December on the future of the council as a whole. One option could be to break up the largest council in Europe into three or four smaller authorities. Earlier I spoke to the Secretary of State for Education, Nikki Morgan, and asked her to explain what Sir Mike's main focus would be. Well, he is appointed as the Education Commissioner to Birmingham City Council. He's going to report to me and also to the Chief Executive of the Council. He'll be looking at the improvement plan that the Council has put in place as a result of the uh, incidents examined in the Clark and the Kershaw reports. And he'll be looking at how the Council supports schools uh, and also if there are any systems or changes they need to make when uh, head teachers or other teachers make uh, complaints or bring allegations to the attention of the council. Because it's clear that the City Council failed to react to very serious allegations they'd known about for some considerable time. I exactly, and that's what the, uh, the report showed and uh, what Peter Clark in particular identified in, in his report. And heads and teachers need to know, and governors, that if they bring serious concerns to the attention of the council, that those concerns will be followed up. And that's exactly what Sir Mike Tomlinson will be looking at, as well as looking at the wider uh, education uh, department within Birmingham City Council. I mean, the council is obviously worried about appearing racist. Will Sir Mike be able to grasp that nettle? Yes, I think he will. And I think what the report uh, showed is that um, whilst we obviously uh, remain very clear that this was a small number of people in a small number of schools, and that we're also very clear, as I said in the House of Commons back in July, that the vast majority of uh, Muslim parents want the best possible education for their children. But we mustn't be afraid to challenge and to follow up concerns, whoever makes them uh, and whatever their background. I mean, four individuals are actually named in the Commons, weren't they, by the MP Khalid Mahmood for what they did or didn't do over the Trojan horse affair. Have you followed that up? Will Sir Mike look at that sort of detail? We have followed it up and there are some individuals over the summer, there are individuals who are no longer uh, members of governing bodies uh, and trustees that have resigned from the various schools that were involved uh, and there are still some other further procedures to be followed. So yes, there are certainly individuals who are no longer involved in schools who were involved in schools in Birmingham. Now Birmingham said to have the youngest population I think in Europe, yet children's services have been branded inadequate for the past four years. There's the controversy as we know over schools. I mean, do you feel that Birmingham is failing its young people? Well, that's why obviously we've had uh, Lord Warner who's looking at children's services departments. Now Sir Mike Tomlinson has accepted the invitation to become the Education Commissioner. And also on the same day, the uh, Communities and Local Government Secretary Eric Pickles announced a wider review of governance of Birmingham 
City Council by Sir Bob Kerslake. Uh, so there are clearly uh, concerns, but my conversations with Birmingham City Council leadership have shown a real willingness to, to change, to work with uh, people such as Sir Mike Tomlinson, as well as the Department for Education in identifying uh, the problems that have arisen and how we can avoid them arising in the future. So I think we need now to see some serious work by Birmingham City Council uh, to, to deal with the problems identified. But as I say, there, there is a serious willingness to, to do that and to tackle these issues. Nicky Morgan, thank you. A couple from Walsall say they've been...